Hey guys, Logan Dunning, logandunning.com. Do you have an existing Azure 365 tenant and you want to import or migrate or you know bring in a domain that you may have bought on GoDaddy, Namecheap, or any domain registrar? I'll show you a quick and dirty way to get up and running in no time. So in the Office 365 Admin Center, you're gonna wanna click the All button at the bottom, which is kind of invisible, and then this will kind of open up. And then you go to Settings, Domain, and Add Domain. If you don't already have the domain, they do give you an option to buy the domain. In this example, I'm gonna go over how to import this from Namecheap. So over on Namecheap, the one that I have here is the podcast that we set up, Rui and I. So I'm going to just paste it in there. I know domains aren't case sensitive, but I am OCD chronically. So I'm gonna say use this domain. And essentially it's just gonna walk you through a process of what to do. You don't need to really engage in a Microsoft Gold partner or spend any unnecessary money, YouTube for the win, uh, knowledge, free knowledge all over the internet. This is the way of the future. Um, so it gives you a couple of different options. Um, and you know, I chose this one recently to do. It's kind of nice if you have a website, you can just drop in a text file and push it. Um, I like doing that one, um, but I'll show you um, the different ways. So I'm gonna say add a text record right here. So I'm gonna go continue. And I'm going to go here and it does say that, okay, it's already named cheap. So it will provide you the step-by-step -step instructions. If you kind of go here and it'll link over, which is nice. But what I'm going to do here is over on Namecheap, and it'll be a similar thing on GoDaddy or another registrar. And luckily they have the same level of, you know, here's the step-by-step -step for this, because it will sniff it out of who it's registered from. In this case, it's sniffed out Namecheap. And I'm going to go advanced DNS and I'm going to go add a new record and it's going to be a TXT record at meaning the host and I'm going to paste and the time to live was um, I think 300 and uh, 60 or the def or your provider default. So what I'll do since the provider default was automatic is I'll hit that and just panning back to make sure it's at um, this and the TTL, which is in, I guess, seconds, which you'd have to convert it to here, right? But I'm just going to go save. Okay, just refresh the page, make sure it's all good in the hood like it should. Yep. I'm a skeptic that things save, so refreshing is always good. So I'm going to hit verify. And sometimes this can take a super long time. The first time you press verify, it just won't work, right? <laughs> um, you know, so you're gonna have to continue to um, try and just wait and maybe, you know, reboot your computer, come back to the page, try all that stuff. It does say it'll take around 10 minutes, um, some 48 hours. This is one of the reasons why I like doing the text file. So um, what I'll do is I'll go back and I'm gonna, um, if you can't add a txt file, you can add an mx record to, so we'll do that. Let's try that next. And we can do this one. So hostname at priority. So we'll go back here and under the uh, mx record or um, mail settings, I'm gonna add a custom mx. I'm gonna say at the mail server is that dot invalid, <laughs> nice. Um, all right, so, or any large value not already used. All right, what's it saying here? 255, and then the TTL or the default. So we're gonna save all changes. And just to, you know, remove duplication here, I'm going to take out this one, refresh the page, see if it's all good in the hood like it should. That one's gone, this one's here. Let's see if you're good with that, Microsoft. Yeah, and so no, it, it doesn't like that. I like doing, this is just like a coder's perspective point of view, just kind of like it. Um, it basically wants you to do this kind of stuff here. So I'm gonna pause the video and show you how to do that. Download the file and yeah. 
so I have a Blazor um, static web app um, in WebAssembly here, and I pasted it right into the WW root. The one gotcha you got to do with this one is right click, go to properties, and then say copy to output directory always. And then you want to just go to, uh, you can hit save or whatever, and then say, <clears throat> you know, MX uh, office 365 verification file blindly commit to main and master like you should be doing. Now that that's pushed, hop over to Azure DevOps just to make sure your pipeline is fresh and toasty and just wait for that to complete. Might as well remove that MX record. All right, looks like that build pushed out a nice hot new Azure static web app, fresh out the toaster. So let's just check it out if we can verify now. And if we all good in the hood. Oh, a double load, it's like a double take. All right, so blah, blah, blah. okay, yeah, okay. All right, so it wants you to add a couple of things here and you can download it, whatever. Um, but let's just do this. So what it needs you to do. So it did verify, but now it's at the point where, okay, we know you own it and we want you to add these things. Now this part, you can't really get away from taking, you know, so long. So basically, you know, you do this, hit continue, and then you're going to have to wait, but yeah, that's it. So let's just go through that process. We're going to say, uh, add a custom MX, and then we're going to hit that hard. We're gonna hit that yeah, and we're gonna put in some priority, which is yeah, and then the auto magic, save. Next up, next up, C name records. We're gonna hit up that auto discover. We're gonna hit that add new record. And what was that C name? Uh, okay, so we're gonna add a C name, not CIA. <laughs> yeah. CAA is coming to tow your car, a C name record, I'm gonna hit auto discover. And the target is we're gonna target the auto discover.outlook.com. Okay, fine. We're gonna keep on alt tabbing because that's a bunch of bull. We're gonna hit save, 60 minutes TTL. TTL for those unacronymed is time to live. <laughs> Hopefully my TTL is quite long if you get my drift. And if you come too close, you will. Next, we wanna add a text value which is basically the back door of the DNS internet, add a text record. We'll do all the rest. Uh, then the TTL in this one is again an hour or an Espanol, a Jorge. Save. And uh, yeah, so we got those two added all up, right? These are really generic, like those ones there, right? You, you know, it's not like those are super encrypted baloney, but then this one here, if you look at it, pretty much the same. Right, so back on that, back on, and then we're gonna hit continue. And of course, when it checks it, it won't be able to verify it because, you know, it's gonna take a while, up to 48 hours. So, um, this one here, is just gonna take a while, take a while. It's, it's funny that the MX and the C name are really quick, but the TXT records are like, take forever. So what you're gonna wanna do is, you know, you can leave this up. Um, I wouldn't leave it, I know you probably can. Um, I would just leave it up, you know, and come back in a couple hours, you know, maybe don't reboot your computer, whatever. I know that's like probably not the best advice, you probably come back and it's fine. But yeah, just keep on clicking continue until you're good, and then you're good. I like how it's like, it'll usually take around 10 minutes, although it could take two days. That's a bunch of baloney. Your pizza will arrive in two hours up to 48 weeks or free. Baloney. Baloney meaning the, not a Microsoft thing, baloney meaning, you know, DNS, the internet. And that's basically it. Sometimes you gotta wait 48 hours, uh, stay persistent. If you do refresh the page or whatever, you just have to type in the domain again. You don't have to go through that, you know, those first three options over and over. You can kind of pick up and wait at this part. But yeah, uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.